Oh, it's been difficult for all of us, um, for all of us experimental researchers, particularly so because we've had to shut down our labs and this is of course very difficult. Um, I'm a, an early career investigator. It's, it's only been a relatively short time since we started the lab. So um, we just started getting exciting data. I have students who are at a point in their training careers where they are, you know, enthusiastic about getting started with their PhD projects or master's projects. And unfortunately, we've just had to shut all of that down. We have fairly long lab meetings, and although that is designed for work or for journal clubs, you know, we do start out by checking in on each other, seeing the situation, how are people coping, what's happening. In addition to lab meetings, I do have one-on-one -on -one meetings with each member of my lab during the week. So um, during those conversations as well, of course, a lot of it is about work, about you know, things we're working on, analysis projects, right? But we also chat about, about things. So I suppose it's, it's social as well as uh, non-social. And um, there are other um, um, forums, uh, online Zoom meetings uh, with units in the center we're at um, and in the faculty we're at where you have online Zoom beers. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's more an opportunity for purely social interactions. Um, so I think um, we're going to have to think about how to do this um, intelligently, slowly, safely. We don't want to put our trainees at risk. We don't want to put the city at risk by going back to work. Nevertheless, um, scientific research is important. And I, don't think, I think the COVID uh, crisis, if nothing else, should show us that this is absolutely essential for us, just the knowledge that scientific research gives. Maybe not on COVID right now, but in general, um, and therefore we have to, we have to get back to work at some point um, and we have to figure out how to do that.